सो वेलकम टू द स्क्रीन कास्ट ऑफ द एम डी एल स्टडी चैम और वॉट एवर विल से इन द एफ सी सी सेशन सो हेयर वी विल सी हाउ टू कोड दिस थिंग्स ऑन आवर लाइव यूट्यूब चैनल आई आई डोंट नो माई साउंड इज गुड और नॉट फॉर दिस बट लेट्स सी सो गो टू गूगल एंड सर्च फॉर सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज ऑब्वियसली गूगल कोलेबरेटी एट वेर डिस्कस बट हाउ टू डू जस्ट गो सर्च गूगल कोलेब you actually need an mm, google account to open this collaboratory and uh, i thought you might you all have this account but go to this uh, hello collaboratory open this and go to here a new python 3 notebook open it so it will create a new notebook for me uh, notice here that this extension of the file is ipynb so those who are new to this notebook form format uh, they will see that this ipynb full form basically is interactive python notebook uh, so when you are writing uh, this uh, com python command in the shell it will be uh, it will give our extension like ipynb do not to worry about it uh, so let's just change this um, fcc dl1 whatever it will be so this is this is called the cell mm, and you can actually write a unix command under this cell uh, but how to write the unix command uh, it uh, you prefix it with uh, exclamation mark and write like ls and you have to run this just go to this hover up and run this it will be allocate you a process <coughs> a run time and everything and you can see it will just take one moment and now it's connected and you can see ls i have this i am this in session you had this is sample data it is you can add a new code cell by clicking this it will be here a new cell our code runs on the google server so mm, we get a new cell and now mm, this let's see why we are going to use this like why uh, how the mm, processor is fast or not what are the properties of our google google collab for that we can use this command uh, cat mm, cat so is cpu cat pros let's put this let's say cpu in for and you can to run to you can use also control enter so let's see let's we have a processor 1 mm, processor 0 here and processor 1 here and it's very good we have 2.20 gigahertz processor mm, it's good and to add on here you do not get the information about the memory but uh, you can for that we can use you, you can hover over and you can add a tech code cell from here also so go here and write Okay, sorry for that. Go here oh, and write cat proc mem info and run it. So this is the RAM is available for us. I think it's thirteen GB or something. Eleven GB, twelve GB is almost available. So it's the best machine we can get. It's a very good from our other common machines that we use. And if we want to clear this output, we can just go over over here and clear the output, or you can just click here to. clear the output of this cell you can go here and uh, mm, you can see like clear output add a new mm, let's 
see how mm, we can do it okay so next we are going to learn uh, how to upload the files so you can go here over here and uh, you can upload all the files from here uh, I don't have a file open here we'll see like I have let's just create a file let me in the tab desktop touch on 4.3 or something anything data into dot csv you can see your test dot csv by this so we can have this data and to upload just go over here and uh, go to desktop and this is thing the test dot csv open this so this is the giving me a warning that if after in the new session like uh, whenever we run the code we get a new uh, runtime from the google but whenever you close this uh, the our tab we will lose our runtime so the data we cannot uh, google collaborate you cannot store data forever it will be deleted after you mm, uh, close this tab so i'm going to okay this and now we have our test csv uploaded here let's do something else uh, you can create a text cell also in this text cell you can write the normal text hey this is a text file you can use generic command to write bold or like something like this uh, markup language you can use you can also use latex that latex is used to write mathematical formulas uh, so write latex you write latex something like this you can see that you can see the output here and, and do let you shift enter shift enter will compile that code and will create a new code shell for you or we just add the text cell so you can do like this you can create a section section is very easy for us to just for the like you can it will divide your notebook into different sections uh, let's see like it will be very easy to if you move it upward this will be for five set this is the section one we can see and it is this is why we use a section we will be using sections for this i think this will be it for this uh, you can i would just want to show you this one thing you can add this comment here if you want to come and sometime like um, I want to change this line it will be added here 
that you can share this code with your friend and uh, you can use it this this was meant to be to share the code with other people so uh, it's like any normal drive file you share with your friend that's how you can share your code with your friend so we will see some python basics in the next tutorial this is the basic this was the basic of the google collab thank you